Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good. As you can see, the kitchen counter is loaded for bear. Um, yeah, I was supposed to clean these up and put them away, but uh, I kind of had a setback with my pinched nerve uh, right after the holiday. And um, don't want to get into it, but I will tell you, I did find a, phys a really good physical therapist. And we started that on Wednesday, and um, I got kind of use back in my left arm right now. And um, hopefully the physical therapist can get that disc pushed off the nerve, and I can get on with life. But anyway, I got a pretty cool knife I want to show you. Um, it's made by Otter Messer, and it's called the York. Uh, before I show you that, though, I had, we had one of our subscribers wanted me to run over the, um, um, the Henry from Wesson. Uh, I guess I did not show the back springs, because this person noticed that when it comes into the half stop, it almost blows through the safety stop. That's how tight the spring is. See how that goes like that? So yeah, it's a really tight spring. It's different than these um, modern style springs that are rounded. It is just a flat spring like a regular slip joint. And as you can see, it's pretty flush. No gaps. One thing it does have is because these covers aren't hafted, you can see there's a little bit of an extra, um, it's a little bigger than it should be. But I, I was thinking after I get this all nice and scratched up because it's a user that I can just sand that down. It really is not a problem when you hold on to it. But yeah, that, uh, oh, and he wanted to see the centering, too. And as you'll see, it's not perfectly centered, but it's not rubbing on anything. And yeah, that's from Wesson, made in um, Detroit. Well, on the outskirts of Detroit. But yeah, it's a real stiff spring, and it will almost blow right through the half stop. There, it kind of stayed that time. But there's no worry if you had your finger here, I would feel confident that it's not going to blow right through it. So anyway, there's the Wesson. Um, nice little carry there. And he wanted to know where I got this um, pocket slip. But I can't remember where I got it because it was like a year and a half ago. Uh, so my friend Zen Ali knows where to get these. So Zen... If you leave a comment um, on where we can get this, I don't know if it was uh, um, Knife Center or Knives Ship Free, but there's a place to still get these. Um, <clears throat> this one here was made probably two years ago because I bought it about a year and a half ago, but it fits all your smaller knives really well. <clears throat> okay, now for the Otter. This is something that's really cool knife, and I'll be up front with you right now. I started the procedures to return it, only because it's not quite what I expected. Let's pull it out. But that doesn't mean it's a bad knife. It's just I was kind of expecting something different. What they do is they give you this little pretty cool wrench with the otter on it. There you go. And that's to tighten your pivot screws. Focus in, you'll see a little otter on there too. There we go. Um, it's walnut, but see it was advertised as wal uh, walnut root, which I was kind of expecting like a burl. 
because if you look at the advertisement picture, it def definitely had more character, the wood. Um, <clears throat> it did look like a burl wood. And this is kind of kind of just drab, really, for walnut. I'm sure now if I put mineral oil on that, it would give it some pop. Um, fit and finish on it is spectacular. It's a high-quality knife, but here's the other thing I wasn't expecting. There's no half-stop. But on the picture, which was my fault... <coughs> I thought that the tip was pointing down more, where it was more like a lamb foot blade. And this is kind of like Boker's Quaking. I would um, kind of compare it to. It's 440C. Beautiful grind on it. Um, not real comfortable either. Um, it holds in secure, but it's kind of blocky, and that's because you'll see how um, thick the wood covers are, which is nice because there's no threat of it cracking there, I wouldn't think. But it, it kind of feels like a, I have a Otter Messer, um, the Bee Master knife, which is kind of thick and blocky. But I kind of like Otter's, um, the handle that they have on the three rivet, which is much more comfortable. But this is, I mean, don't let me dissuade you guys from getting it if you think it's something you like. It does have a lot of be belly on the up sweep here. I was just kind of hoping it would be more of a lamb foot style. So I'm going to return this and probably, because I'm looking to get another lamb foot knife. And I think I might just go to Arthur Wright and get something from them, <clears throat> their large lamb foot. Because this is a $100, and then after tax and shipping, I think it was $112. So let's measure it up. Uh, let's see, handle from front to back, it's four inches. And your blade length is just over three, and there's not much of a tang there. And your cutting edge is still over three. So that could be an issue for people with um, um, different kind of knife laws, the under three inch uh, rule. But yeah, I think if I had put if I put some mineral oil on this, it would give it a lot more pop. But if you see the picture that it's advertised, it's nothing like this. Uh, I don't have no burl covers out in this mess here right now. But uh, you guys know what burl is, and that's not burl there. Um pretty cool here I don't know why my th thumbnail always breaks when I start using a knife but there you go it's good quality steel 440 C uh, the model number is the OTT 157 and it's called the um, York I'm not even going to try and pronounce that Taschen Messer, Taschen Messer York, um, 440C, number 157. So for you um, Otter Messer collectors, this is a beauty. And it does have quite a bit of snap. Right down the center. And... Not a gap to be found. It's all steel construction, steel liners, steel pins. Um, the pivot, like I said, you can see how this one's a little stiff. And you can just use your wrench and loosen it up. But I'm not, I'm still debating. I started all the procedures to return it. 
But what, what happens a lot is after I have a knife for a few days, I decide to keep it. But this one at $100, <clears throat> I think I might, because I'm looking to get another lamb's foot. So I may be um, swapping this, send it back, and get an Arthur Wright. It does show on the picture that it is upswept like that, which kind of makes it, it just has a weird feel with the blade that's pointing up that way. Uh, I always prefer my knives with the blade more of an angle on a downward turn. But there you have it, the Otter Messer York, model number 157. Um, in walnut. It's supposed to be a walnut burl, but it's still pretty awesome either way. So until next time, my friends, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.